In the name of the Lord Most High, whatever you call your God, what are you doing for Him? In other words, are you spending your mornings in prayer? Are you doing anything to meditate as others have before you to bring about the best life you can for you? Are you spending your time thinking about how to serve your God in a way that does not make you odd but allows you to make a living and help other people you serve? There is never a help to a person that has never invited you into their life. There is never a lie that you can commit that the Lord above does not see. In our lives, we have the right to participate in a person's life only if they offer it and only if they agree. The sadness of most people is they are too quick to judge and too quick to flee. In other words, people like to make relationships for the short term. They like to make relationships for the fun of it, but then what they do is turn on it and ruin what the Lord has planned. There are other people of matronly status that have no right to a man, but they will pretend as if they know someone, they will pretend as if they can guide people about that one, and they will ruin their life before the Lord. If you already have a man, that should be nowhere near another one. If you're with the wrong man, then you need to find the one that is right for you. Most likely, God has guided you many times to that individual, but you have failed God when you have not stood beside him, when you have not stood with him, when you have not fought for him, and when you have not protected him. In life, we have moments of time to see that Jesus was not a problem in the Garden of Gethsemane, but other people were, and openly that people that invaded his peace time, ruined his sleep time, and destroyed American culture over the course of time for their lives about what they do for the Lord.